The San Francisco Unified School District has some big decisions to make before the fall when 57,000 students will be returning to the classrooms for in-person learning five days a week. The district still hasn't made a final decision on whether it will require all students and teachers to wear masks. One third grade teacher who I interviewed said wearing a mask is toughest on teachers in the elementary schools. No major COVID outbreak was traced to any Bay Area school. Several medical studies conducted during the pandemic discovered that young children are far less likely than adults to spread the virus or become infected by it. A COVID expert with UC San Francisco, Peter Chin Hong, said as long as all teachers are vaccinated, the decision should be made individually by parents, whether their kids wear masks in the classroom. I think it's important to allow parents to have that individual option if they wanted to um, for kids. But right now, with our numbers, again, 12 cases per day in a city of a million people in San Francisco is not a lot at all. So you'd have to go out and, and hunt for um, for COVID right now in San Francisco, like hunting for unicorn. One of the most uh, interesting studies was early on in the pandemic when they looked at the the sort of receptors, the ACE2 receptors, which are the places or the doorways that the virus needs to enter the body through. They're very, very few in the younger the kid is. So because you have few receptors or beds or five-star hotels that the virus is trying to get to, uh, it's just, you know, it gets stuck. It can't really enter the body. So that's one of the hypotheses, uh, and that's for sure true from a biopsy study. Kids, in general, more protected. Of course, they can st still get disease, so you also look at what's going on in the community. If the community prevalence is really, really low, with a low-risk population, that combination is going to be close to zero. In a statement, the school district said health and safety remain a top priority. As COVID-19 conditions evolve, official guidance is not yet entirely clear for school reopenings for the fall of 2021. We're planning for different possibilities given the projected conditions and eagerly await more guidance from state and local public health officials. The district spokeswoman told me they are leaning towards requiring masks for this fall. I'm Amy Larson reporting for Cron 4 News.